I built this rundown trailer park in The Sims 4 and we're going to try and rent it out today to hopefully make some money to fix it up. This is our Sim Mai. She has the five star property owner aspiration and she's ambitious. She has the child of the village trait, which is new. And she has the generous trait, which is also a new trait that comes with The Sims 4 for rent. And here is the trailer park that I built. I think it has some potential. The landscaping around is really nice. We have like some old boats hanging around but there is also a lot of trash and a lot of items that shouldn't really be here. The trailers themselves are also not really the greatest. Everything in these is pretty low quality like we've got low quality kitchen appliances, cheap TVs, very cheap looking beds and they're pretty much all like this like they've all got those used appliances and we have four units in total that are going to be available here so there's actually two trailers those have their own unit and then this trailer over here actually has two units so we have an upstairs one here as well this is the unit that my lives in it's not the greatest either and these are not rated the best we have two stars some of them are three stars and I want to see how much we can improve this place using the money that we get from the rent I'm gonna set my money for today to a thousand simoleons just so we can keep track of what we've made so let's go ahead and fill the vacancies here the max amount of rent that I I can set is 115 simoleons. I'm gonna try and get as close as that as possible. Let's do 100. Lease length, um, let's do like four days, maybe three. Yeah, amenities are basic, small in size. The environment is decent, but the maintenance here is pretty poor. Do I wanna set rules for any of these? I think maybe we should do no trash overload. I feel like that's reasonable. There's already trash here. I don't think I'm gonna be too strict with these other ones, but if they leave trash, we're gonna find them 600 simoleons. <laughs> Okay, let's pick who's going to live here. So we have Lee, who's an elder. Lee wants one bed, which we've got, and their rent cap is 75. The highest rent cap we have is 103, which is within my budget. But then we're gonna have an elder, a young adult, a child, and a toddler, and three beds, and we just cannot accommodate. I think we're gonna go for this elder here. So I'm gonna go back and set it. We'll meet them at the 75 for rent. There we go, done. One of them is filled. I'm gonna go ahead and fill all of them here. Basically going by the same rule so no trash I'll meet the highest renters this rent cap is 53 for hittle sticks we're gonna go for that this one has two elders for 96 we're going where the money goes. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of elders here. That's okay. <gasps> a teen and a dog. They're willing to come in at 99 for my rent. So I'm willing to buy you a dog bowl and a bed. There you go, your dog bowl right outside just in case they don't bring their own. Okay, let's meet our tenants. Nobody has really showed up yet. <laughs> maybe I can go knock on the door and maybe they'll be there, but you would think they would have walked past me, right? Oh, there they are. Okay, this is Dara. I'm gonna introduce myself. This is the one with the dog. We're gonna do a Tamarani introduction. I haven't actually seen this yet. Oh, cute. I want to be a good landlord. I want to be nice to people. I want to help them out. And I'm pretty sure doing that also like brings up the score here as well. So my approach is going to be to keep them happy so they pay me. Oh my gosh, stop. Is this the dog that lives there? This is definitely the dog. Oh, I need to say hi to you. You are so so cute. This must be another one of our tenants. Oh, just kidding. No, he's not. <laughs> I'm in love with you. Oh, he's so cute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you? If you were a tenant, I'm evicting you. What's your name? Okay, she doesn't live here. You need to leave. <laughs> Go away. Absolutely will not be tolerating any of that. God, I am just... <laughs> I need to stop paying attention to this dog. Okay, anyway, I've introduced myself to them. I filled the dog bowl and I like these two. I'm gonna try and stay on their good side. Let's go meet the other people. So this works like a rabbit hole kind of, like there's a loading screen in between each unit, which is a little annoying, especially when my lot is very small like this, but it's honestly not that bad. I don't know if anyone's home in this one. Oh, she is. I've never seen this townie before, but she looks like she could be like a teacher. Like she kind of reminds Reminds me of, oh, what's her name? From the Magic School Bus? Miss Frizzle. <laughs> How could I forget? Honestly, so far, everyone seems very nice. I'm gonna go introduce myself to the remaining people. Oh, this is our elder couple household. I think 
think this one probably needs the most work. Just judging by the stuff on the walls. Oh no, our elder sims are the ones that live up on this ladder too. Sorry about that. These guys seem like they're on vacation at all times. You know, I was a little concerned about my tenants here, but they all seem great. <laughs> this might just end up being one big happy family. Plus, I mean, look at this view. Like how bad could it be? This is our final sim. This is the elder who lives alone and he's got the ranch outfit on. I don't know if it's because of my generous trait, but I feel like everybody loves my. I think our first impressions went well. I'm exhausted though, so I'm gonna go home. But all of our ratings went up just because of those interactions. I probably should have waited until like the morning and not moved everyone in in the middle of the night, but we'll just take a quick nap. Oh. I love you, I love you. It is kind of cool seeing all of the Sims like out on the lot interacting with each other while I'm just chilling over here. It brings in this like neighborly aspect and also it's like, okay, I'm just eating cereal over here. I'm gonna go see what's going on. I can spy on my tenants while I'm eating cereal. I'm checking out what I need to do for my aspiration here and this says I have to handle a maintenance event and perform an inspection pass. I already have a unit occupied by a tenant, so we're good there but maybe we should go do an inspection. I think I can perform it on most like appliances. I think electrical also. Yeah, any breakable objects. So I'm just inspecting the fridge and I'm going to keep constantly doing checks to try and get my unit ratings up. Why does Sims keep wanting to stand here? Do you think I can just take this dog for a walk? Let's do it. And then we can explore a little bit of the world. <laughs> this is not even my dog. Get yourselves a landlord that will also walk your dog. Oh, the market is over here. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. We're gonna walk to the market. What kind of crafting stuff can I buy? I wanna check it out. I wanna see what they have. Come on, Hanoi. <laughs> I'm gonna get a phone call from that teen sim like, excuse me, where's my dog? Okay, yeah, what can we get here? Jar of marbles, we have some tassels. Oh, you can buy some of the baskets and stuff here. I'm in no position to buy anything, but I kind of wanted to see what was going on at this shop. What about at the food stalls? Oh my gosh, I would eat every single thing here. That looks so good. That's a good menu. I can't get over how cute the market is here. It's so colorful and bright. Is this on every night? Also, I'm a little concerned because I haven't received any payment yet. What's going on? <gasps> no. Oh, no. <gasps> no. I think one of our elders is dying. Were you riding a horse? That was probably problem number one. Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it. It was the ladder, wasn't it? That's 100% my fault. Um, I'm not going to decrease their rent, though. So... Actually, wait a minute. Oh no, I am gonna have to find a new tenant. That was the one who lived alone. No. Oh, this is not good. A tenant household has been vacated. Their former unit is now unoccupied. They did not even pay me once. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna move that over there. The problem is that this still says that it's occupied. I don't know if the game is recognized that my tenant died. Like the name is no longer here, but I still have to like unjustly evict, I guess. Basically, if I unjustly evict someone, I can get fined or even sued, but he died. <laughs> I'm doing it, I'm scared. Okay, why does it still look like that? I should be able to fill the vacancy. Hmm, maybe if I go to manage worlds and then come back. Okay, there we go, that worked. So let's fill the vacancy again. I don't think I'm gonna get an elder this time. <laughs> maybe we'll go for this young adult here. Their rent cap is 62, but at least maybe they won't die. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna knock on their door at 1 a.m. This time we'll wait until the morning. So I'm gonna actually get some sleep. We'll meet our new tenants again in the morning. Two seconds later. Oh no! Explosive malfunction! The neighbors have reported a huge sound of explosion from five Rokaya rock side. They're scared something is going to blow. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I need to go to the bathroom and then we're gonna go deal with that. Oh no, five is this one. Five is Hanoi's home. I would run into a burning house for you. I'm coming, Hanoi. Oh no, the oven did explode. What do I do? I have to replace it? Okay, smooth job taking care of the explosive malfunction. The 
student is satisfied with your prompt action and your unit rating went up. Okay, but no one has paid me yet. And it's been a couple days and my money is decreasing. Is everybody here okay? Mainly you. Okay, now that we've dealt with that, I think we should go over and introduce ourselves to the new tenant. Oh, it's this Sim. I saw her at the market actually. Hello, what's going on? I've never seen this interaction before. Is this like what she's talking about? Is she telling me a story? She's so animated, I love her. Oh my gosh, down below it says, well memed my friend. She was memeing. <laughs> she has the cringe personality trait apparently, which is another new one. And that's what that was all about. That was cute. They actually seem to be getting along really well. Maybe we can be friends. I knew we were gonna like this sim. I had a good feeling about her. Oh, we have a problem. My bills have been delivered to my mailbox and I can't afford them at all. They're like double what I have. Is anyone going to pay me? I'm wondering if maybe I get paid when the lease is up. So I have two remaining days for like the first round of tenants. Things might get a little shaky until then because I literally can't pay the bills. The game is literally like trying to teach me how to make money. Like I'm trying. So I did some research on this later on and apparently landlords get paid every Wednesday. However, I found this to be super unclear while I was actually playing. Hence why during this video, I seem so confused about where my money is. Okay, I think while I wait to be paid, we should maybe go travel to some other spots here in Tomarang. I really wanna go check out this lounge. We're gonna bring T, our new friend. I really wanna bring the dog, but I shouldn't. Yeah, she is starving. We're gonna try and get some free food. I definitely shouldn't be spending anything, but this is cute. I'm excited to go inside this bar. I'm gonna grab some chips. The only thing that is free is a little dark in here, but I think that's maybe just because it's cloudy outside. Yeah, people just come up to Mai and like love her immediately. And her moodlets down below have been like very playful, very energized. She is just always having the best time. This might be the nicest sim I've ever had. Oh, upstairs we we have a piano, there's more seating. I wish lots like this could actually fill up. Like I wish all of these tables were filled with Sims. I know there's only a certain amount that can actually be here without it getting too crazy, but still. So I spent a few hours here, but I couldn't be gone long because surely my tenants needed something. I ran into Mika and I'm asking her about the rental conditions and she gave me a thumbs down, but like didn't really give me a reason. And now she's very angry. Maybe. I I shouldn't have asked. Oh my gosh, I think she's like yelling at me. Mika, I thought we were cool. <gasps> Tenant revolt, oh my gosh, <gasps> no. The calm household in five row Kaya Rockside has endured bad living conditions for far too long and they're on the brink of staging a revolt. Is that the one with the dog? Try sending a letter in the mail or visit the unit promptly to address their concerns. Uh oh, uh, oh wait. Is that you? I'm literally in here trying to make sure your fridge is okay. It says I should promise better conditions. It, um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna promise you better conditions, but the thing is you kind of have to pay me for that. I can't give you better conditions if you haven't even paid me. Is everything okay now? You have ignored the dissatisfaction of your tenants from the tenant revolt. As a result, the unit rating went down. I don't think I did. <laughs> What? And also, why did it end so early? Were they all plotting against me? Oh my gosh, I'm offended. My, we have tried to be the nice guy here and clearly it's not working. I have 24 hours to pay my bills before my water is shut off. Oh no. Do you think they only shut off my water or does everyone take the hit? There is only one day until this lease is up here. So I'm really hoping that's when they're gonna pay me. My rent has been collected. You have received a total of 248 rent from your tenants. This does not include rent from tenants that are overdue. Check out the owned business panel to see which tenants are currently overdue. Oh no, did you all pay me? I think they all paid me. How would I be able to tell if they didn't? It does seem a little low though. Oh, because we had to get a tenant a little later. So this lease is up tomorrow. Okay, so I think everyone paid, but I still can't afford my bills. I don't really want to resort to traditional methods of like painting to make money or anything. I want everything to be from this. So I think I should maybe like sell something so that I can pay my bills. There we go. So far, this is not very profitable. I wonder if I could raise anyone's rent. The lowest amount of pay that I'm getting right now is from Lois Hiddlesticks. So maybe I'll raise her rent in the morning because I only have 17 simoleons and that's a problem. Oh, 
cute they put up some lights for the holidays. Please stop. We cannot handle any more deaths here. Maybe I can just clean up some of the trash around. Actually, this stuff could be worth a little money. We're gonna try and make the place look a little better. I don't know if this will actually help my score, but it'll make the place look a little bit more visually appealing. We'll get the trash over here, over in this corner. I think that's looking a little better. Okay, let's go visit Alois and tell her that her rent is going up. I don't really know how this is gonna go. Oh no, she's running away. Hey, wait, I need to tell you that your rent is going up. Wait, wait, where are you going? Okay, we have a sewage leak. I'm pretty sure it's coming from up here. Oh no, it's the toilet. These conditions are rough. They don't even have toilet paper. I'm gonna have to repair this because I cannot afford to replace it. So Maya is about to learn some handiness skills. She has like no skill points here though. So hopefully we can do it before this runs out here. Oh, I think we did it. Exceptional job taking care of this sewage problem. I'm confused because I keep handling these like maintenance events, but I'm not getting any rewards for it with my aspiration. Things are not looking good for Mai. We are not making any money. We're so hungry and uncomfortable because all I've been eating is cereal since I can't afford anything else. A haunting? I have a ghost on my lot? Oh, it's Felix. I love this ghost. Wait, I have to perform an exorcism. Confront ghost, exercise the ghost. Are you kidding me? This is beyond my pay grade. But okay, I guess we gotta do what we gotta do. Oh, she does not have a mean bone in her body. That confrontation did not work. He's just walking away. Wait. Okay, so the lease length is about to reset because I only set it for three days. And during this time, I can raise rent or evict tenants without impacting the unit's rating. Oh, we are doing that. The grace period is active. Oh, I'm so sorry. We are going max rent. Ooh, some people are already paying the max rent. What if we went above it though? What if I raised it to like 115? We can't do that. Okay, fine. The only one I could really raise was the Hiddlesticks one. Okay, back to this ghost problem. He is not listening to me. I keep confronting him and he's just not concerned. Oh, he just lit this right up. Exercise 400 simoleons. I have never seen a ghost do that. That's crazy. And also very cool. But like, can you not? Oh, he is messing with me. You need to go. Stand your ground, Mai. Oh, it worked. Great job taking care of that ghost. As a result, the rating went up. But it's still not really where I want want it to be. Maybe I should spend some simoleons, and I'm talking like 10, on some plants which have like an environment rating because I know that I can up the unit value that way and maybe that means we can raise the rent. So I'm just gonna add a couple of these around. Think of it as a gift. Not too many though because <laughs> I can't afford it. Oh my gosh, a gnome I'm selling you. That gave me 200 simoleons. You know what? I'll take it. I'm gonna spend that on more items that I can use to raise the rating. Like this item raised it by two. Are there any other gnomes around? You know what? I think it's come to the point where I have to evict Miss Frizzle. 76 simoleons is max rent. I think we can do better. And I can justly evict because we're in that grace period. So, yep. Goodbye. We're gonna get this new tenant in and this totally backfired because they're gonna be paying less than Miss Frizzle was. Oh, here's our new tenant. We are going to be such a pro at fixing toilets. You know what we could do now that I've increased my handiness skill? We could start upgrading some of the toilets. If I can't afford to get better ones, I can at least upgrade them and maybe that'll bring up the unit rating. Yes, a gnome spawned in my house. I'm selling you. <laughs> I'm literally only making money from the gnomes. We're not doing bad. We're just also not really doing good. <gasps> no! Wait, hold on. Dear property owner, the comm household is bidding farewell to the five row Kaya Rockside unit. Compensation received for the comm household breaking lease and moving out. What? No, was that the dog? No, why did they leave? I'm gonna miss you, Hanoi. That seemed extremely random, but like we got 730 simoleons from that. I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna keep setting the lease length to one day and maybe this time I'll set all the rules so that like if anything goes wrong, I can find them. I'm gonna take in the Boulder household. We're gonna have to adjust the rent so it'll be at 89. Let's see how it goes with all of those rules intact. Wayne the Boulder, what the heck? This is quite the character. I've never seen this in before. This must be one of the new <laughs> Sims here. Okay, introduction. Wayne the Boulder is a very intimidating name and he immediately doesn't like me. Everyone likes me. Mika? <laughs> 
<laughs> is so nosy. She just came to check out the new neighbor. They're all here creeping on the new neighbor. <gasps> we have a ghost. Didn't I have a rule that there was no ghosts allowed? And he broke it. Do you mind? Now I have to repair that myself. Why are you insisting on being in here with me? Why are you yelling at me now? Oh my god. This career is not for the faint of heart. I am always getting in trouble for something. And now you followed me home. This is, <laughs> this is a lot. In the next coming days, I was constantly upgrading items. I was cleaning things, performing maintenance checks, and then... Oh no, eviction settlement. We're informing Mai of a settlement against her establishment. What did I do? Pertaining to unlawful eviction practices. Okay, I thought I did that during the grace period. And the other time was because he was literally dead. Expect a fine and be glad it wasn't worse than that. 500 simoleons. I'm gonna need a lawyer. Catch the next pack. Sims 4 get justice. This is not an easy job. I feel like I have been going above and beyond. I am cleaning everything. I am literally best friends with every single tenant. I have even been spending so much time with Wayne the Boulder. And actually their friendship is kind of cute because he's big and intimidating and she's the sweetest sim alive. I am the maid. I am the caretaker. <laughs> literally no landlord ever does this. Oh, we have another tenant revolt. I swear, like this seems unprovoked a little bit. All of these have like the green arrow going up. I have cleaned everything for you. I have repaired all of your stuff. I have even upgraded your toilet and you're revolting on me in the middle of the night. Oh, it's always hard to, you know, you too, T. I am actually offended. These tenants are getting on my last nerves. Okay, we'll promise better conditions, okay? Again, I have not been paid in like a week. All of them standing out there in that same spot. Come on. Okay, listen, everyone, I'm doing my best. Maya is trying to promise better conditions, but they are not listening this time. I've ignored the dissatisfaction. I feel like I did not. As a result, the ratings are going down. No. <laughs> and Maya's like, bye. Thanks for ruining my life. This guy came in here while I was showering to yell at me. <laughs> I don't deserve this. He just came in to give me a hug after all of that. Like, I am feeling a little betrayed. I'm not gonna lie. If Maya wasn't so nice, this could easily have become a villain origin story. But maybe that could be part of the problem. Maybe being a nice landlord isn't the way to go. Oh, I can up tease rent. The grace period is active. I'm doing it. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure like we're supposed to be getting paid every Wednesday. I had to look it up and I'm thinking that's the general consensus, but it kind of doesn't really make sense because it says rent per day. So you think I'd be making bank here. We're going to wait and see how much we make on the final Wednesday coming up. And if this isn't profitable, something is wrong here. Oh God, not the bills again. 1400 I'm nowhere close. And we have a water leak. Oh my goodness. And it's always in the middle of the night. Oh my gosh, it's a flood. There's water literally everywhere here. Multiple objects are broken. What have you guys been doing? You cannot turn your living room into a swimming pool. Good thing I've been raising my handiness skill. All right, all of the puddles have been mopped. Can you guys please keep it under control? Oh no, my power got shut off. I need to get paid today. Oh, wait. <gasps> I can find one of my tenants. They violated the no social events rule. The neighbors are finding it disruptive and I think it's Wayne we have to find. Oh, we're going, we're going. We are going to find them. I'm so sorry. We need to turn the power back on. <laughs> we're going to knock on the door, deliver fine for no loud noises and no social events. No, we're doing it directly. This is a little intimidating, <laughs> especially since this guy's literally named the boulder. Prosecute fine for no social events and no loud noises. Go my go. She's so not intimidating. Rent collected. Oh, this is a big payday here. Okay, we got that. And we also have to find you for the other thing. I'm so sorry. I need to wait a little bit before I do it, but I did get my rent. It looks like everyone paid. And luckily it doesn't seem like there's any hard feelings here, but why do I get the feeling like this is a test? Is he trying to make me stand up for myself? We'll see what happens after we give him the next fine. Oh no, it's Winterfest. I cannot be that person. I wanted to be a good landlord and finding this guy on Christmas seems like maybe be the not the right thing to do. You know what? No, we're gonna do it. I have been cleaning this place. We're gonna prosecute the fine on Christmas. Go my go. Ooh, okay, it worked. And he is unfazed. Their relationship is completely fine. And we made a pretty decent amount of money from that. I think I'm gonna end this here. This has been very interesting. I feel 
like this could potentially be more of like a side hustle thing for Sims. Like it is very hard to make a lot of money off of this unless maybe you had bigger properties. But even just maintaining the relationships with all your tenants and the maintenance of it all, it is fun. It's just a lot of work. And I wish the payments actually came daily instead of weekly. I definitely thought that we would be able to fix this up a little quicker. On the flip side though, there are so many easy ways to make money in The Sims 4 already. So it's kind of nice that this makes it more of a challenge. But that has been us trying to run a trailer park in The Sims 4. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.